date. The date is Tuesday, the 4th of November, 1988. Badges are reminders of memorable coronation. I have an in, in, uh, I have an identical bridge to the one shown in the way we were of Rose Hill Road School, but mine is of Argyll Street School, where I started at the age of five. These badges were presented to each child as a reminder of the coronation in 1911. We all filed to Christchurch Park from school and had a super time with games, roundabouts and a lovely tea. As we left the park we were given this badge and a mug. At night there was a very colourful firework display round the docks but I did not like the noisy ones. When St Helen's school was built we left our old one for a brand new school and we were very proud of it. I have an old photograph of us in our classroom. There's Ivy Frost there. I wonder if there's any connection with Mr. Frost's family. Our teacher at that time was a Miss Batley, and she lived in Palmerston Road. A very nice lady, and our headmistress was a Miss Atkins, a very tiny person. When I was about 12 years old, I went to the Central School, just off Foundation Street. Our school was alongside the boys' school, and Shirehold Yard adjoined it, and the people who lived in Shirehold Yard were very poor. I often had to take what was left in the teacher's teapot over to an old lady who was all sitting outside on the steps of her house smoking a clay pipe. I was rather afraid of her. Our headmistress was Miss Agnes Broom, and there's never one nor more fear than her. Each morning we had prayers, then the handkerchief drill, first display it, then blow one side of the nostril, then the other, and after that one mighty blow. If Miss Broom noticed anyone without a handkerchief, they were hauled out to the front of the school assembly and made to look a fool, reciting, I must not forget to bring my handkerchief, then write some lines. Sometimes your class teacher would notice you did not have a hanky and quickly pass one along. Next we recited the news of the school. There were six. The first was to do at least one kind action each day. Among the others were a thing worth doing is worth doing well. Do unto others as they should do unto you. And there is a hope for you and a hope for me. When we recited the rules, there, there's a hope for you and a hope for me, we had to put a lot of emphasis on the letter H in the word hope. There were dumbbells fixed to the walls in the hall, and if you leaned on one and it tumbled down, it was like the death knell. You had to do lines after school as a punishment for being so lazy. We were only allowed to tiptoe around the playground, but when we got back into our classroom, we used to give one mighty bang. Even our teacher, Miss Pathanoster, used to give a quiet smile. If the word went round on our way home that Miss Broom was about, there's a real scatter to get out of her way. Perhaps we were with the boys, which was not allowed, either by her or Mr. Welburn, the boys' headmaster. My three children, Tony, Maureen and Edna, went to Rose Hill Road School. They lived in Orwell Road, and the headmistress was Miss Tilmouth. I enclose a photograph of the headmistress with the children who passed their 11 plus in 1940. My late son, Tony, is in the middle row, the third from the left. Among the others on the photograph are Marion Ault, Tony French, Bloomfield, Vineyard, Joyce Gorham, Daphne Stevens and Kay. I am now 84 years old and I thought you would like to hear about those school days. Edna Elsie French, Knee Hunt, Morecambe Court, Randwood Road, Ipswich. You got it, mm. you got it out mm. with the, the battery, didn't you? Yes. That's, yeah. yeah. And that was in the Evening Star. That's in the Evening Star. Yeah. Yeah. Evening Star, Tuesday the 4th of November, 1988. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. <laughs> I read that all right for you, didn't I? Yes, you did. I ha now, I wish all my family, friends and relations a very happy Christmas 
and a very peaceful new year. Thank you.